Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Before I do anything else, make sure to smash that like button. Uh, today, the XRP community has been betrayed. Has been betrayed. I don't know if you guys remember uh, Senator Warren Davidson, this guy who was, um, you know, helping draft up the Token Taxonomy Act, which we're now finding out um, was sponsored by the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance. Okay. Uh, dude, this guy just put out some major fun on XRP today. Um, <laughs> you guys just got to listen to this, man. So, again, not the optimal style for the videos today, but I'm literally just going to, like, turn the camera and point at the screen with certain things. So, dude, today this guy tweets out this, okay? And it was up for a full 25 minutes before he took it down. Warren Davidson right here saying... So if a central authority can dilute the value of all XRP by issuing 5 billion new tokens, dude, this guy, a Twitter blue check mark, the blue check mark doesn't mean anything to uh, a legitimate United States senator or senator, he speaks some English, um, representing Ohio in Congress, um, dude quotes a ripple scam email. As you guys know, cryptocurrency is like the breeding ground for scammers. Uh, you know, cryptocurrency Twitter is like a, a scammer's wet dream, dude. There, it's like there's so many fucking scammers in the crypto space because, dude, it, I'm sorry, but like it works. They, they get suckers to, you know, hand over their wallet keys somehow. So this guy quotes a Ripple XRP scam email saying like, oh, you know, thank you for, you know, the Ripple army is so cool that hard now our conviction to boldly take action and stand by our lawyer community. We're going to give away 5 billion XRP tokens. So Warren Davidson quotes this legitimate fake scam email and says that like, huh, central authority can dilute the value of all XRP by issuing 5 billion tokens. That doesn't sound good. And then he follows up with, uh, a bit of nuance from the central authority. Now he's all of a sudden calling out Ripple for being a central authority. Look, I understand they got like, you know, a huge chunk of the XRP supply locked in escrow, which I believe in the future is gonna be, you know, distributed amongst central banks all across the world for liquidity. Um, but dude, Ripple controls, when it comes to the, you know, core XRPL network itself, Ripple is only controlling about three to 4% of all the validators. So this dude's literally like, this part isn't a, you know, a fake tweet. This is actually from Ripple, I believe, but he says a bit of nuance from the central authority, dot, dot, dot. So all of a sudden, randomly coming out on Twitter and calling XRP Ripple a, you know, a centralized authority, a centralized system. Well, you know, photos come out today um, of this guy. Um, fucking dude is out here sitting with 2-Bit Idiot, who is um, Ryan Selkis, I believe. <sighs> Fucking consensus. This dude is sitting. You guys know who consensus is, dude. Leading Ethereum blockchain software company, part of the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance. This guy's fucking pictured here sitting with them, dude. Okay. So, I don't know what this random spur of an attack <laughs> calling Ripple XRP centralized, dude. We've been fighting that false information of XRP centralized for like four or five years now. Don't know why he all of a sudden decided to do it today. And then what's funny is like people are calling him out on Twitter for quoting a scam email and using that to attack Ripple. And he replies to it saying, hey man, that was a deleted tweet actually. And he deletes that too. So guys, a bit of betrayal today from Warren Davidson. Uh, not a good look for that guy. And again, blue check marks don't mean anything on Twitter. I think this guy just really used the XRP army to kind of boost his social engagement, his social presence on Twitter. Um, don't like seeing the XRP community get used by that, by people who aren't even invested in the ecosystem. Dude, this is the equivalent of, I'm glad I'm not seeing this anymore, but dude, there's like, you know, girls invested in the XRP, you know, ledger, and then they come on Twitter and then they're posting pictures, you know, basically showing their OnlyFans, trying to use the community for post engagement and, you know, link clicks, follows, all that kind of stuff, so. I feel like Warren Davidson did the same thing. But yeah, again, guys, don't fall for those only XRP OnlyFans shit. Don't fall for that shit, all right? Waste your money. You could buy some more extra XRP with that. All right, guys. Thank you for the video today. I really appreciate it. Make sure to smash the likes and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.